Good morning, my name is Jessica Price and today we will be discussing Chapter 4, Hardware for Educators. This chapter presents a brief look at some of the hardware components used for input, processing, output, and storage. Just a friendly reminder, the following presentation contains copyrighted material used under the multimedia guidelines and fair use exemption of the U.S. copyright law. Our learning purpose is describe the system unit, differentiate among four types of output, describe the four types of input as well as various input devices and pointing devices, differentiate between CDs, DVDs, and VDs. What is hardware? In information technology, hardware is the physical aspect of computers, telecommunications, and other devices as you can see on the screen. Those are just the physical aspect of computers, um, just the hand-hand devices, what you can see is the hardware. The system unit is the main container for system devices. The system unit is made of metal or plastic and protects the electronic components from damage. Notebook computers, netbooks, smartphones, tablet computers, and other mobile devices contain almost all of their components in the system unit, including the keyboard, the monitor, or display. So those Smartphones and tablets and cameras, scanners, game consoles all have a system unit. System unit components are motherboard, CPU, memory, ports, and connector. The motherboard has many of the electronic components in the system which reside on the circuit board which is called the motherboard. The motherboard contains many different types of chips which one of these which is of the most important is the central processing unit. The central processing unit CPU interprets and carries out basic instructions that operate a computer the CPU, also called the processor or microprocessor, manages most of a computer's operation. Most of the devices that connect to a computer such as monitor, keyboard, mouse, printer, scanner, and digital camera communicate with the CPU to carry out task functions. The memory stores three basic items. One, the operating system and other system software that control the computer equipment. Two, the application software designed to carry out a specific task, such as word processing. And three, the data being processed by the application software. When a computer transfers program instructions and data from a storage medium into the memory, the computer stores them as bytes. The computer stores each byte into a precise location in memory, called an address. An address is simply a unique number identifying the location of the byte in memory. The memory chips on a circuit board in a system unit perform this and other tasks. Ports and connectors. A port is the point of attachment to the system unit. Most computers contain ports on the back as well as the front of the system unit. Examples are USB port, FireWire port, and Bluetooth. A USB port, short for Universal Serial Bus Port, can connect up to 127 devices with a single connector. 
The USB port 2.0 is more advanced and faster, which speeds 40 times faster than the original bus port. The latest version, the USB 3.0, is more faster, 10 times faster, as the USB 2.0. A FireWire port can connect to devices that require faster data transmission speeds such as digital video, camera, VCRs that are digital, color printers, and DVD drives to a single connector type. The FireWire port is found on more expensive PCs and most Macs. Bluetooth technology uses radio waves to transmit data between two devices. If you have a computer that is not Bluetooth enabled, you can purchase a Bluetooth wireless port adapter that will convert an existing USB port into a Bluetooth port. What is input? Input is what you enter into a computer. As soon as input is in memory, the CPU can access it, process the input into output. There are four common types. Data, Program, Command, and User Response. Data is a collection of unprocessed items. A computer manipulates and processes data into information that is usable, such as words, numbers, pictures, sounds, and so on. A program is a series of instructions that tells a computer how to perform the tasks necessary to process data into information. A command is an instruction given to a computer program commands can be issued by typing keywords or pressing special keys on the keyboard. User response Sometimes a program asks a question such as do you want to save the changes you made. Based on your response, the program performs specific actions. For example, if you answer yes to this question, the program saves your file to a strong medium. Input device is any hardware component that allows you to enter data, programs, commands, and user responses into a computer. Input devices include keyboards, pointing devices, optical scanners, and reading devices, digital cameras, audio and video inputs, smartphones, media players, and input devices for students with special needs. One of which the keyboard is one of the primary input devices used with a computer is the keyboard. The mouse is the most widely used pointing device because it takes full advantage of a geographical user interface. What is output? Output is data that has been processed into a useful form called information. That is, a computer processes in input into output. There are four common types. Text, graphics, audio, video. Text consists of characteristics that are used to create words, sentences, and paragraphs. Graphics are digital representations of non-context information, such as images, drawings, charts, pictures, and photographs. Audio is any music, speech, or other sound that is stored and produced by the computer. Video consists of photographic images that are played back at the speed that provide the appearance of full motion in real time. DVDs, CDs, and BDs. Digital video discs, compact discs, and Blu-ray discs. 
CDs and DVDs are one type of optical storage media that consists of a flat round portable plastic disc with a protective metal coating. The term disc is used for magnetic media and this DISC is used for optical media. CDs and DVDs primarily store music, movies, digital photographs, and software programs. Just about every personal computer today includes some type of CD or DVD drive. Some CD and DVD drives are read only, meaning you cannot write to the media. Others are read-write, which allows users to save to the disk in the much the same way as they would save to a hard disk. Blu-ray disk has storage capacities of 100 gigabytes with expectations of exceeding 200 gigabytes in the future. Blu-ray drives and players are backward compatible with DVDs and CD platforms. Although CDs have large storage capacities, even these are not the large enough for many today's complex programs. DVDs are available in a variety of formats including one which stores motion pictures. Many computers that contain a DVD drive allows you to connect your computer directly to your television. Chapter Summary We should have learned some of the major components of the system unit. Identify four types of output. Identify four types of input and devices. Differentiated between CDs, DVDs, and BDs. After this chapter's lesson, you should have a good understanding of the information processing system and how various hardware devices are used in education. Now that you have a good work knowledge of computer hardware, you can use your newly gained knowledge to help your students understand technology concepts, systems, and operations. Because technology changes so quickly, you also need to stress to your students the importance of being able to transfer current knowledge when learning new technologies.